Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to this week's Yarn Adventures, which started last Sunday. Today's Friday. Can't remember what day. Pretty bad. Um, and um, yeah, I thought I'd share with you. Well, first of all, I um, went to my Cairns Ravelliers group, Ravelry group, and we met up about eight, eight of us, I think. It wasn't very big. And got chatting one of the ladies finished off her arizona blanket um i believe it was an Ar the arizona blanket was a cowl by crochet o'clock from last year it was beautiful pinks and burgundies and reds and creams it looked amazing i may have to check out this cowl make this blanket on my own because it was really nice another lady showed us a shawlette she'd knitted from scratch without a pattern and just designed as she went along and that was great we were encouraging her to write down the pattern and sell it because it was a really nice shawlette I took along my shawlette for some advice now I had been looking to make another shawl but I didn't want to keep doing the virus shawl or virus shawlette and I came across now, for those of you who remember, I bought quite a bit of Illusion Cotton from Lincraft in the ready pinky colours. And the project I bought it for, it didn't work. I didn't get very far at all. I had to frog it out and I put the cotton aside. And then when I was looking for a short pattern, I came across Bago Day's Butterfly Effect. I think it's Tutorial 604. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. And I started this when I was traveling towards the end and I've made it to this length. I took it along to see whether I should make it a full size shawl or whether I should leave it at this length. I think I've pretty much decided I'll leave it at this length. I'm not really a big shawl person. You can see the stitch marker is still in it. I haven't quite finished it off. I think I like this size because you can use it more versatile in the tropics um, it's a great tutorial and a lovely pattern it's sort of like got bobbles and it's perfect for this yarn I do have another cake I could make it bigger or I could make a second one but check out this tutorial by Bag a Day it's really nice so that was my shawlette that's like a fraction away from being finished so after our Ravelry meeting, discussion came up at the meeting that Lincraft, my favourite Lincraft store in Cairns, was closing down at Rain Trees. There are two. There's one at Smithfield, but I really like the staff at, Link, at Lincraft Rain Trees, and it's closing down. And they were having 50% off everything. So we got in our cars and went over there, thought we'd do a bit of shopping. I kept saying, I don't need any more yarn. I've got heaps of yarn. But we went, and yes, I did buy some yarn. Lincraft cotton for a project for me in the black and grey. Because yes, I like black. Have you got any blacker? It'll make me happy. I bought two of those, but I can't start that project yet. I also bought, because there was one left and it was really cheap, ice cream yarn in the colour minty. I have one of these in my stash, and two is always better. For a baby project and it's really soft a couple of Q motifs that I stitch on hats I make Queensland colored hats and sell them at a charity market beanies and I put the Q on them they're really popular I did buy some other stuff but that is for my random winner of my wake along I bought some yarny stuff to go in the prize pack for the winner of that so I don't want to share it with you yet uh so my make along i first finished object is my i haven't put him on the teapot i'm sorry owl tea cozy this is out of my tea cozy book i bought and it was made in that um karen simply soft tweed with some extra trim he does look cute on the teapot. He sort of sits with his head sunken a bit. And yeah, he's turned out really nice. So that was my tea cosy. For my 
T Cozy Make Along. If you haven't checked out the video, please do. I'll leave a link to that. The first one to come in was from Madonna Ballard. She accepted the challenge, went out of her comfort zone and crocheted, I must stress, crocheted a tea cozy. She made the most gorgeous chicken. I'll try and put a photo at the end of this video so you can check it out. Please join in the make along. It doesn't finish till the 9th of November. You might actually enjoy making a tea cozy. It's a bit of fun and they're quick to make. They don't take long. And there is a prize for a random winner or get a prize at the end of it. So there you go. I made a tea cozy, which is not unusual. I should have a pumpkin one finished tonight, ready for the market on Sunday that I'll be going to. Now, I am way behind in the Unravel Mitten Cow. I also discovered when I counted the squares, I kept, I'd missed number 10. So I had to go back. And I've done, I can't even remember. I think I'm up to 16. And this was number 15. They're in dark colours. That's purple. I did that round ravel mitten square. And then I did this. I braided something. Now, you do it like that. And I really like this. And I have actually started a charity blanket in this stitch. So I'm doing it like that, but when the blanket's finished with a border, it's going to run up like that. I actually really did like this one. So that was my two Unravel Mitten squares. So tomorrow's Saturday and I go to my Far North Queensland Cancer Crochet for Cancer group. can't remember if I showed you this blanket. I um, must have forgotten to donate it before I left, so that'll be a donation. It's a corner to corner. I made in pink and purples. I haven't really finished anything else because I've been getting ready for the charity store. And hopefully I'll have my braided, whatever it's called, unravel mitten stitch I'm doing for my blanket next month finished. And you can have a look at that. Crochet for Cancer Funnels. Queensland Crochet for Cancer this week. Earlier this week we celebrated seven years. Seven years of making stuff and giving stuff. So that was really nice to think we've been going a while now got to check my notes guys so this Sunday I'm having a stall at the local market a charity stall for oh, I forgot I'll show you for Doreen and Emma for Emma's quest we're still fundraising to cover the cost of her trip to the USA and I had the most amazing day today because they're back from the USA Emma's back at school settling in well and she's keeping really well. And Dorian called into my office to say hello. And she blew me away because they brought me a gift bag from the USA. Now, Dorian's not a crafty, yarny person. I don't think she has any crafty hobbies that I know of. And she went to Joanne's with her friend Dawn that she stayed with. And she was telling Dawn about the stuff I make. Because Dawn makes soaps. And there was a yarn clearance table. And with Dawn's advice, she brought me back some yarn from Joanne's. I'm going to even keep the plastic bag. I was so excited when I saw it. She brought me back a ball of, and she kept saying, now don't forget it was on the clearance table. It was really cheap. ZZ Twist. I hadn't heard of it. But I did go online today and check out a review for Bag A Day to see what she thought of it. But I think I might make a hat with that. It does feel really soft. She, Because she knows I do tea towel toppers and face washes. And keep saying, it was on the clearance table. It was a bit of a mess. But she brought me some premium cotton in this blue colour. I don't think it's got a name, to be honest. But... It's a lovely aqua blue. It's um, cotton and polyester. That comes in handy. And that is my colours. I like that. But for those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll know that I like Mandela. And I've wanted to try Mandela Sparkle for a while. And without even knowing, Doreen picked up Mandela Sparkle. She bought me a ball of Mandela Sparkle. In the colour Hercules, or I think it is Hercules or something like that. I'm not very good at pronunciation. 
there you have it and you see the sparkles it's mandela <gasps> she was like it's not gold judy and i went it is to me because it was so expensive to bring over here and she kept saying if it's really cheap it doesn't matter the fact that she had me in her thoughts when she went into a craft shop was really nice and for them to bring me a gift was really special she insists that i make something for myself out of this so i have to keep my hat on and think about what i'll make i'll probably make a cowl or something I'm not much of, much of a hat person but that was Doreen so I've been getting ready for the charity store and I got really excited about doing yarn bingo this month because I missed it and I've tried to combine the two so one of the things on yarn bingo was make something for a pet or decorate a pet jar now I haven't decided which section it'll go in but I make these quite a bit for my craft store especially the charity store I made a pet treat jar it has a little bone on top I will be making some little biscuits tomorrow to go inside it I've made another one but this is one I've actually finished and decorated with butterflies but it's a pet treat jar and they the small ones are for little dogs and they're actually quite popular so yeah I recycled the jar and it's made from scrap yarn Another thing I've tried to aim for this week, use up some of my never-ending mountain of scrap yarn. And I also decided after watching Laurel from the Dabbling Hook about her market and how she made scrunchies, they're a quick sale, and I thought, I've never made a scrunchie. I checked out a few patterns. I made these from one pattern. Look, they're okay, but I sort of found them a little, well, you know, boring when I made four of those. And then today in my lunch hour, I went searching on YouTube again and I came across Nastasia, Donna Wolf's pattern, this one. I made two in my lunch hour, so quick. And I love this pattern. I think this is really nice because my scrunchies are for little girls. I have decided I might try and find a bigger hairband and make some Christmas scrunchies for the girls in the offices where I work and give them away as Christmas gifts. But so far I've got two, four, six scrunchies and I'll have a few. I've got one on the go and I'll have a few more made by Sunday and they'll be on sale on Emma's table at the craft store. So they were scrunchies. Part of the um, yarn bingo was do a towel topper. I do quite a few of those. I sell quite a few hanging tea towels and hand towels on the stall. And I've done two so far. I've done, trying to vary the colours I've got for sale. So I bought this green. I put yellow because I couldn't find a really good green to match the top of it. Some people like them long. Some people like them short. So I have varying lengths. And I did a hand towel with the blue had a few guys ask me for hand towels at the market I did oh that's what I picked up two really cheap black and white ha um, hand towels at Lincraft I haven't got them with me but I'm going to make those into hand towels for the guys at the markets that asked me so I've got to check my notes because I had so many little things on the go so then I was just making sure I forgot nothing I earlier in the week I had been and maybe even last week I've been watching Debbie the Canadian crotchet one of my favorite youtubers I like the patterns she tries and she'd been making ear warmers and I've never made one not with any success anyway and I quite liked the patterns she showed so I went online and oh well on YouTube and it's crochet cards hugs and kisses it's quite nice but I agree with her the way they do the bottom there's no stretch in the bottom this is in the top and I have quite a buffed head and I made it to fit my head she did one as a second one or maybe third one with a foundation single crochet chain that I've heard people talk about before and I've never done so I got on did a tutorial and the next one I made same pattern hugs and kisses crochet crowd I'll leave a link to that I did this and it's better it's ideal for ear warmers it's a lovely pattern scrap cake yarn used so yeah I was on a scrap yarn mission tea towel toppers with scrap cotton yeah 
Um, I think it might have been Debbie from the Canadian Crochet talking about using up her scrap yarn and I have a pile of it and I need to get rid of some of it. Either donate it to charity or get moving on it. So I'll be making different scrap yarn projects. Now I think it was Rosie from Noni Stitching Lounge, known as Stitching Lounge. I was watching, looking at the blanket she's made and she said she's not starting any more whips until she finishes her blanket. So during my rummaging and looking at my whips, I realized I've broken my own rule of only ever having five whips. I actually have five blankets on the go, not to mention about five small projects. And it seems pointless when some of them only need a finishing row or the end sewn in, da 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 da. So this week's goal is to finish some of those whips without starting any new whips, even though I'd like to start this one. And another one I came up with that I've been wanting to do for a while. But no, I'm going to reduce it back to five. So finish some of those blankets, finish some of those smaller whips, and I'll show you next week. So that's it guys, I've had a pretty crafty week, a lot of small stuff that I can do in my lunch hour or on the go, um, work gets hectic this time of year because we start gearing up for um, tertiary education scholarships, we give away scholarships to disadvantaged youth who want to go on to university and that application process and everything gets pretty involved for me until the end of January. But there is always time to crochet and especially on weekends because I don't have to bring work home. So I have a great week. Fancy Doreen bringing me Mandela Sparkle. She does watch my YouTube but she didn't recall me ever saying I wanted to try it. Isn't that awesome? So nice of them to think of me. So to my loyal subscribers thank you for keep following me and watching me. We are creeping very slowly to that thousand mark which would be nice to reach after the lady in Bruges disillusioned me but yeah if you're new to the channel please check out the other videos don't forget to check out the make along video consider making a tea cozy until next time take care of yourself take care of each other and have a crafty day bye for now